Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well. It amazes me that green tea, black tea, and white tea are all the same plant, Camellia sinensis. The location of where the plant is grown and when it is harvested play a role in the quality and taste. Since green, black, and white tea are all products of the same plant, the only difference is how they are processed. Green tea is made solely from the leaves of the plant that have undergone minimal oxidation during processing. The tea leaves are dried or slightly steamed, but not fermented. It contains approximately 12 to 75 milligrams of caffeine. Black tea is fully fermented, which blackens the leaves and causes the formation of caffeine and tannins. It generally possesses the most robust flavor and highest level of caffeine, but the least antioxidants. It contains approximately 40 to 120 milligrams of caffeine. White tea comes from the buds and leaves of the plant. It is minimally processed and not oxidized, meaning it retains the natural antioxidants but does not develop as much flavor, color, or caffeine. It contains approximately 6 to 25 milligrams of caffeine. Please note, read the labels. The brand of tea you buy and its origin can make a big difference in regard to caffeine levels. The numbers stated above were approximate and based on an 8-ounce cup of tea. Benefits of green tea that you may not have been aware of. Green tea has been used as a medicine for thousands of years, originating in China but widely used throughout Asia. The reason that green tea has more health benefits attached to it than black tea is apparently due to the processing. Green tea retains maximum amount of antioxidants and polyphenols the substance that give green tea its many benefits. Also, don't forget to drink your green tea with lemon, as green tea contains its own antioxidants called catechins. A cup of green tea a day is a smart preventive measure against heart disease and cancer. Studies show that catechins are more readily digested in the presence of citrus fruits. A lime or orange may boost catechin utilization from 20% to 98%. I have another video posted about this benefit. I will post a link for it below. Here's a list of some of its amazing benefits. Number one, weight loss. Green tea increases the metabolism. The polyphenols found in green tea works to intensify levels of fat oxidation, and the rate at which your body turns food into calories. Number two, diabetes. Green tea apparently helps regulate glucose levels, slowing the rise of blood sugar after eating. This can prevent high insulin spikes and resulting fat storage. Number three, heart disease. Scientists think green tea works on the lining of blood vessels helping keep them stay relaxed and better able to withstand changes in blood pressure. It may also protect against the formation of clots, which are the primary cause of heart attacks. Number four, esophageal cancer. It can reduce the risk of esophageal cancer, but it is also widely thought to kill cancer cells in general without damaging the healthy tissue around them. Number five, cholesterol. Green tea reduces bad cholesterol in the blood and improves the ratio of good cholesterol to bad cholesterol. Number six, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. It is said to delay the, the deterioration caused by Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Studies carried out on mice showed that green tea protects brain cells from dying and restored damaged brain cells. Number seven, tooth decay. Studies suggest that the chemical antioxidant catechin in tea can destroy bacteria and viruses 
that cause throat infections, dental cavities, and other dental conditions. Number eight, blood pressure. Regular consumption of green tea is thought to reduce the risk of blood pressure. Number nine, depression. Theanines is an amino acid naturally found in tea leaves. It is this substance that is thought to provide a relaxing and tranquilized effect and can be a great benefit to tea drinkers. Number 10. Antiviral and antibacterial. Tea catechins are strong antibacterial and antiviral agents, which make them effective for treating everything from influenza to cancer. In some studies, Green tea has been shown to inhibit the spread of many diseases. Number 11. Skin care. Green tea can apparently also help with wrinkles and the signs of aging. This is because of their antioxidant and anti-inflammatory activities. Both animal and human studies have demonstrated that green tea applied topically can reduce sun damage. As for black tea, it has been noted to help with oral health, heart ailments, cancer prevention, healthy bones, lower risk of diabetes, stress relief, better immune system, healthy digest digestive tract, and increased energy. Though it should be noted that it is recommended that black tea should be consumed without any additives like milk or sugar to truly harness its benefits. White tea, on the other hand, is an antioxidant powerhouse. Its health benefits include reduced risk of cancer, cardiovascular disorder, and improvement in oral health. It also helps in weight loss, aids in managing diabetes, and in maintaining healthy youthful skin. How much tea should you drink? The reality is, one cup of tea a day will not give you all of the abundant gains. The jury is out on how many cups are necessary. Some say a little is two cups a day, while others five cups. The average recommendation is two to four cups a day. You may also want to consider taking a green tea supplement instead, as it would keep you out of the bathroom. Another thing to point out is that there is caffeine in green tea. So if you are sensitive to caffeine, then one cup should be your limit. Green tea also contains tannins, which can decrease the absorption of iron and folic acid. So if you are pregnant or trying to conceive, then green tea may not be ideal for you. Otherwise, go ahead and enjoy a cup of tea with all its abundant benefits. Glad to have you watching. Good day and good health.